Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show how to wire a four-way switch. A four-way switch circuit controls a light from three or more locations. A four-way circuit system may be required in large homes where somebody enters the house from one side. There is a second switch to turn off the light, maybe near the stairs. And there may be a third switch to turn on the same light uh, when somebody moves out to the back or in the hall or living area. This is an important caution. The procedure shown in this video is for information and education purposes only. If you are not comfortable working with electrical wiring or electrical equipment, I would strongly suggest that you hire a licensed electrician. Working with electrical wiring or equipment can be dangerous and can cause serious injury if not handled properly. Before undertaking any kind of electrical work, always make sure that you follow your local electrical safety code. So let's take a look at how the wiring is done and how the connections are made. As I mentioned earlier, a four-way switch controls a light from three or more locations, but all of the switches are not four-way. If we want to control the light from three locations, we need only one four-way switch and two three-way switches. If we want to control the light from more than three locations, like four locations, then we need two four-way switches and two three-way switches. In this simple example, I will explain how we can control a light from three locations. So this is how the wiring is done. We have power entering the first switch box using a 14-2 wire. This is the 14-2 wire. Power enters here. I have marked in on this black hot wire. This is the neutral wire and this is the ground. In this, from this switch box, we have a 14-3 wire. This one going to the next switch box. From this switch box, we take another 14-3 wire which goes to the last switch box. And from that switch box, a 14-2 wire goes to the light fixture. Coming back here, this is the 14-2 wire, ground, white neutral, black hot. This brings in power to this light box. This green wire is bonded to the metal box. And these four wires, bare copper, ground, white neutral, and black and red, they are traveler wires. In this particular switch box, these four wires, bare copper ground, white neutral, and black and red traveler wires, they are from this 14-3 wire coming from the first switch box. These four wires, bare copper ground, white neutral, and two traveler wires, black and red, they are going to the next switch box. In this switch box, these four wires, bare copper ground, white neutral, and black and red traveler wires, they are the same. This wire is shown here. From this switch box, we have 14-2 wire, bare copper ground, white neutral and black hot, they are going to the light fixture. Now what we need is a three-way switch here, a four-way switch here and another three-way switch here. If we have more than three locations, then we need one more four-way switch in between this four-way and this three-way. I have placed labels here so you can easily recognize the wires. 14-2 wire brings power in, 14-3 wire from first switch box to second switch box and 14-3 wire from second switch box to the last switch box and 14-2 wire from the last switch box to the light fixture. For the purpose of this video, I will be using Leviton Decora style switches. These two are three-way switches and this one is a four-way switch. Let's take a look at how we can differentiate. In a three-way switch, we have a black terminal and a brass terminal on one side and a brass terminal and green grounding terminal on the other side. But in a four-way switch, we have two black terminals on one side. Hope you can see that. We have two black terminals on one side and two brass terminals on the other side. If we look at the back side, the brass terminals are marked out and the black terminals are marked in, in. That means we connect the incoming traveler wires to black terminals and the outgoing traveler wires to the brass terminals. It's always good to read the marking and read the instructions. They are normally included in the switches. So let's start installing the switches. Safety first, always make sure that there's no power in any of the wires. I will use my client tools touchless non-contact voltage tester to make sure that there's no power. There's no power in any of the wires, so it is safe to proceed. You might notice that I have already prepared, I have already stripped these wires. If you are not sure, 
how much wire do you need to strip there is a strip gauge at the back of these switches like here in this three way switch there is a strip gauge and you can check how much wire you need to strip in the four way switch also there is a strip gauge here starting from here i will take care of all the ground wires first ground wire from the metal box ground wire from the incoming 142 wire ground wire from the 143 wire goes which goes to the next switch box and a small pigtail to ground the switch i will use a 5 pin wago lever nut connector to join all these ground wires i will keep this out and push all the others into the box white wires are not connected to the switch i will use a 2 pin wago lever nut connector to join these white neutral wires and push that inside next i will connect the three way switch starting with the ground this ground pigtail is connected to the green terminal the black hot wire which brings in power is connected to the black screw i have just pushed the wire under the brass strip you can also make a hook and tighten the screw screw we will keep the red wire up here on the right side once again i will push the wire under the brass strap and then tighten the screw the black traveler wire is connected to the other brass screw on left side next i will connect the four way switch but first i will take care of the ground wires here ground wire from the incoming 143 wire ground wire from the outgoing 143 wire ground pigtail from the metal box and i will use a pigtail to ground the switch once again i will use a 5 pin wago lever nut connector to connect all ground wires i will keep this pigtail out and push all other wires inside the box the white neutral wires are not connected to the switch so i will use a 2 pin wago lever nut connector to join these two and push the wires inside the box now the switch keeping leviton upright look at the marking in is marked here so the two incoming traveler wires are connected to the black screws and because i kept the red wire on top i will keep the red wire on top on the right side the marking says out the red wire on top here as well and black traveler wire at the bottom and the ground pigtail over to the last switch i will take care of the ground wires first ground from the incoming 143 wire ground from the outgoing 142 wire a ground pigtail connecting the metal box and one more ground pigtail that i will connect to the switch i will use a 5 pin wago lever nut connector to connect all these ground wires i'll just keep this ground pigtail outside and push all other wires inside I will use a 2 pin wago lever nut connector to connect the white neutral wires because they are not connected to the switch and push these wires inside next i will connect the switch ground wire first keeping leviton upright the ground wire is connected to the green as i kept the black traveler wire on the left side i will keep this black traveler wire on the left side on this side the red traveler wire is connected to this brass screw this black terminal is the load terminal so the black wire from this 142 is connected to the black screw here let's take another look at how we have connected the switches the first switch is a three way switch the incoming black hot wire is connected to the black terminal here 
the red traveler wire from this 14-3 is connected to the top brass terminal. On the left side, this black wire is from the 14-3 wire. It is connected to the brass screw. And the second switch is our four-way switch. On the left side, we have two black screws and the two traveler wires from this 14-3 are connected here. Red on top, black at the bottom. The right side is the outgoing side and these two traveler wires are going to the next switch box. Once again, I have kept the red wire on top and black wire at the bottom. And the last three-way switch on the left side, this is the black traveler wire coming from the four-way switch. And on the right side, this is the red traveler wire coming from this 14-3 wire. This black wire is from this 14-3 and this is the load wire going to the light fixture. And because I'm using metal boxes, uh, it is better to wrap some black tape around the terminals. If you have the plastic J boxes, you may not need that. Wrap it twice to make sure that the terminals do not touch the ground wires or the metal box. I will now push these wires into the boxes and tighten these screws. So all connections are done. I will now turn on power and check that the connections are correct. So power is on. Let's see how the wiring works. Power on from here, off from here, on from here, or off from here, on from here, off from here, on from here. From any of these three switches, the light can be turned on or off. On, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, off from here, on from here, off from here. Now it's just a matter of covering the switches with wall plates. I just installed wall plates and this project is complete now. I hope the video is informative. It is helpful. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. There are several other DIY project videos on my channel. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Until then, please take care.